baked beans in a frying pan. Baked Bake beans, beans for a frying pan. Baked beans. Oh, yeah. In a frying pan. Baked beans. I'm having sausage sandwiches, and they're not too far away here. They're not too far away. I, wouldn't mind, sausages sausages. Sandwiches. I wouldn't mind sausage sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus in the, in, on the job in hand, and that is baked beans in a frying, frying pan. pan. No. Beans. Oh, yeah. For I'm a lovely man, baked beans. beans. I've got a super plan, and that's to eat baked beans if I can. Wonder Woman, say what you want. I'm not here. I want what I want. Yes. Let me hear what you have to say, baked right. beans in a frying pan every day. <laughs> and uh, welcome to No More Jockeys. I think I'd better get the sausages out. I was hoping I'd have them ready for the start of the game, and it's just but not quite. They inside you. Have you eaten them? Uh, so I don't mean I don't mean throw them up or shit them up. I mean uh, get them out of the oven. Yeah. Throw them up or shit them up. Shit them out. Yes. Throw them up and shit them up. I'm on. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Baked beans. In a frying pan. Huh? Baked yeah, beans. Please <laughs> I don't eat pips. <laughs> Not oh. the worst things in the world, old friend. Oh, you can't really see them. They are in there, though. Oven gloves. Uh, exactly, yes. So I don't burn my tiny little handies off. I, I think we're nearly ready to sort of seal the deal here on these. Key to start? Yeah, key, key to start. start. And we're and back on. No more duckies. Go on, Debbie man. Debbie McGee. Oh. Debbie McGee. Mm. Oh. I think I might start with Her Majesty... Debbie. Mm-hmm. Debbie. Mm-hmm. Hi. Good short, good, good short shout that one. Uh, I like your cat, Tim, the, the painted cat. Oh, I'm so sorry for painting my cat green. Did you hey, paint look, it or dip it? Well, you think I've got vats? Yeah, I think you've got. <laughs> did you buy a large paint? Uh, I think you add vats got, to your invoices. Have I got vats for cats? <laughs> have I got? A, have I? Have I used my my extra bedroom? Have I converted it into a vats room rather than a study? Hello? Uh, he said vats for cats, yeah. Well, I don't know, yeah, but I'll let you know. All right. Wait, why is someone calling you on your Walkman? Um, by the way, can we try and put our vats for cats scandal behind us? Right. Yeah. Well, we know the person. What what category are you ruling out? Hello, good morning. Shut up! <laughs> Hello, good morning. Shut up! <laughs> Big roll. Oh no! Yeah. Come on. Big yeah. roll. I'm rather droll. Big <laughs> roll. I've once scored one goal. I think Alex is already <laughs> looking a bit sort of unhappy. What's your green category? Debbie McGee. Yeah, Debbie McGee. You know that. <laughs> here, here he goes. The policeman. Gary Neville, the shop steward. Debbie McGee. Yes. <laughs> No more Debbies. What? Oh. What about like Debbie Deborah Meaden? Yeah, you can have Debras. <laughs> <laughs> it's people who are mainly known as Debbie. Can I do name another? Yep, Debbie Reynolds. It's Debbie Reynolds from the olden days. It's Debbie Reynolds from like Singing in the Rain or something. Right, we've okay. done one person and we've yeah, done but one we're gonna... and we've done another like, hundred songs. Alex. Tim, do you, I just worry a little bit about Alex's sort of... Well, I'm going to surprise you here slightly, Mark. I think he's a valuable asset. I'm going to do this next one really efficiently, and it is Barry, the late Barry Cryer. No more people who... When you think uh, about... When, yeah, when you think about it, Mark. Sorry, who, when you think about it... When uh, you think about it... You can find the, word, the phrase much loved in their obituary. <laughs> The late Barry Cryer passed very recently, and there was an outpouring of love for uh, this wonderful man. Yeah, if you can find any obituary uh, of them, and it says they were much loved, then that, that right. person that you can't. Well, I'll, I'll toast to that. <laughs> Peter Andre, no more people. You add one letter to their surname, and it turns into a lovely little first name. You know, like Andrew in this case. Yeah, like Andrew in this case. 
Big ad. Must it be at the end of the um, of the surname horn? Must it be? No, it mustn't be. It, you it, can just it, it can be. But you can stick any one letter in anywhere, and you can Whack turn it, it in. in, and you've got to find me a famous person with that first name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Well, I couldn't. I, I've thought. I remembered your one now. Now, and, and I would have got in a bit of a pickle. Now, what's your one in the end, Watto? Hang on. Well, uh, you will. It will come to you if you think of it. Um, I wouldn't, well, I mind, wouldn't mind this going there. And if you're watching at home. Feel free to have put a sock in a funny place, you know, yourselves. I can't and, breathe. And what? then once you've done it, send it into our, you know, p- send it into our um, box. mail bag, and we'll we'll then retweet it. And let's get let's get it going. Let's get it moving, man. Oh, viral. <laughs> Noah. No. Hey. <laughs> Was his real name Debbie, or did you just decide to say the first half of his name again afterwards? <laughs> Like well, if I'm I said Barry Cryer Bar. I'm going to do that from now on, actually. Okay, cool. Right. So, yeah, Jemima Puddle Duck. Jem. Are there any other Puddle Ducks? Uh, I, I learnt the presidents recently with my friendship group, and there, were, there wasn't a Puddle Duck. The American presidents? No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if, he mean, if he's being sarcastic. Do you mean, so what was it, French presidents? I know, I think he was being sarcastic, but I thought it was a bit mean, because lots of countries have presidents. For example, Russia has a president, and by the time you watch this... You're watching it in a bunker. (laughs) (laughs) I think there's a big difference between saying, I think there'll be a third world war and saying you'll be watching this in a bunker while putting a sock on your ear. It does, it does soften it a bit. I didn't ever say I was John Simpson, to be absolutely fair. Oh, uh, now I've been saying I've been John. uh, What's your category? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the socks are annoying. Uh, socks, Socks are stupid. Okay, Noah. I think I'm going to go for no more people who have never worn jeans. Ooh. Because I can't imagine Noah wearing jeans. And that does actually knock my next proposal for six. <laughs> if we say someone from the modern era, does it fall on them to find a picture of them wearing jeans? It's cross that bridge, I'm afraid, mate. It's our old friend, CTB. I think it's time to say... I think it's time to say... Oh, is it though? Because no, maybe it's not time to say actually. In, in that case, then the, the 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 big problem here is none of us have seen enough photos of Mert Aksak to know what, how he sort of dresses. And here's the big news: oh. after this go, I'm going to pour myself coffee one. And for me, coffee two, but it won't be. It won't have caffeine in it. I've given up caffeine since Christmas. Oh, do you not have it for Lent or something? I have given up uh, cigs. Ah, six what? Six things. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Anna Crilly, I think. Oh. You're going for Crilly? No more people, then, who... When you think uh, about it... When you add it up... Oh. Uh, they, their age is within, uh, I'd say, three Roughly. years. Yeah. Three years of one of us. So it excludes anyone... Between the ages of about 39 and 48, I suppose, or something, isn't it? You've just played what I like to call a very ingenious category. Yeah, you've played a very ingenious category. My idea was to play a very (laughs) ingenious category. Well, no, you have. You've played a very (laughs) ingenious category. (laughs) Denzel Washington. Ah, already. I thought I was having a coffee after that go. I think I'm having a coffee after this go. I thought of a name, so I've said it. No more place names anywhere in the town name, anywhere in the town name, no more cities. No more place names anywhere in the town name. Anywhere Anywhere in the town town name, no No more more cities. (laughs) Yeah, no more cities, please. No more cities. No more cities in your name. What am I peeling? What am I peeling? What am I peeling? It's quite appealing to guess. Well, it's quite appealing to guess. Let's not have a whole load of stress because what is he peeling and what is he feeling? It's a tangerine and he's happy. What is he peeling? What is he feeling? It's a spud, and he's happy. Oh, it's pro- oh I don't know. It's a bit Ooh, of both. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll give it. I'll give the points to Key. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm lucky there. Lucky. But that's key. the game. That's the game. <laughs> lucky Key again. <laughs> I think I'm unlucky. I think I was closer to a tangerine than a spud. <laughs> but but referee decision. It's Clarkson. Oh. Jeremy, 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 oh, Jeremy Clarkson. On. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy Clarkson. Clarkson. I mean, jeans-wise, he's absolutely um, swimming in them. 
Some of the doors are opening. Ring, ring. I never get anyone at the door ever, whatever game we play. Uh, although well, that was that one time he made us answer our doors because he sent us <laughs> gas food and the um, delivery guy wasn't milk. very pleased with me. Milk. I think it's there's no milk. need to knock if you're a milkman. There's no need to knock <laughs> if you're a milkman. Milk. When you just leave the milk outside the house, then you slink away as quiet as That's a mouse. Mouse. There's no need to <laughs> knock if you're a milkman. But the guy knocked all the same. Fight! Why? Interestingly, same with a fireman. No need to knock, just get on with it. They're not in. <laughs> <laughs> Back we go. This is only my second go, is it, or third? No yeah. more people who, when uh, you uh, think about it, when you think about it. Oh, yeah. No more people who, their initials are the same as a high echelon celebrity. High echelon. <laughs> <laughs> is it Jesus Christ in this case, or Jimmy Carr, yeah. or or J- Jarvis Cocker? <laughs> high echelon. Echelon. Uh, let, uh, uh, can I amend it? A very high echelon celebrity. Very very high how many now. people are in this echelon? Probably about fifty. <laughs> fifty or so in the echelon. It doesn't involve someone called Ron. Okay, you've got to be in the top fifty most famous people ever. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just Google who are the most famous people out there, and it should be easy. Well, I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy, no, not Jimmy, Jesus. Jesus Christ is right in there. Jimmy Christ is bang in there, for sure. I mean, there's there's a a lot of lures. Oh, there's loads of lures. It's quite a fun category. Don't worry about that. Is 50 fair, or do you think it should come down to 20? No, 50 is is fine. It just might not be easy to determine who the most, like the 46th most famous person is. Well, you can't argue with Jesus Christ. No, 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 he's up there. He's in there. He's in there all day long. Yeah. What about Mo Salah? No, he wouldn't be in the top 50 ever. He's very famous now, but no. Right. But Michael Jordan? Maybe he's in, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. difficult. Yeah, but maybe, maybe more, there's like two or three sports people are in there. Muhammad Ali is probably in the top 50 ever. Muhammad Ali, maybe. Is Michael Jordan more famous than someone like Herod? Is there room for both of them? It's not easy. All right. Well, it's a great category and I've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed it. Well, I think it might be time to say what we're all thinking. Oh, that is slightly too risk. Is it? Is it too risky or too risque? No, too risque. It was. It was. I was going to get all my clothes off. I'm just slightly worried about one thing that I'm going to say. But I, uh, is it racist? Yes, I'm going to say a racist thing. I don't know if I like that. One. Yes, it's, it's actually it's racist and sexist and it's terribly offensive. And when the uh, below the line says, I might get quite defensive. Uh, well, I, I'm feeling quite pensive. I think it's Cher. That's who I think it is. Dear Cher. Nature's Enya. That's a bit of fun because Cher means dear. Is that why that's Yeah, good? that's sort of why I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Thanks for doing that. <sighs> what are you laughing at? I'm not sure if I like it. It's just laughing I'm at... laughing at my next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I used to end my stand-up routines by saying, I'm just going to end with a quick gag. No, you did. I did. I did in, a, in some competitions. In the... It's the sort of thing Horn would do, actually. Yeah, I did. Oh, Al, that's crap. <laughs> it could be challenged, I suppose, but I'm going to hope... Well, that it, it will be, according to the old hand of hope. Oh, OK. Zinedine Zidane. What about that? Oh, the big guy. Does the hand of hope still have me down for a challenge if I say that, I wonder? You're clean, you're clean with Zidane. There's, and it's no more people. There's been a film about them, a, a biopic, if you want, or whatever you call it. I always thought it was biopic, but it is biopic, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, but you, your brain wants to say biopic because it looks better. Well, my mouth wants to say it. There was it no more films about them. Y- yeah. No more f- not, that they've, not an actor that's been in a film. No more films about them, about their life. Well, in his case, they just followed him through a match, didn't they? I'm glad so- oh, sorry, I was going to say, I'm glad socks aren't telescopes. If socks were telescopes, it would be the end of my hopes. <laughs> well, I might do a challenge, but I don't think it's right, because you'll know it. Challenge! Uh-oh. He might, oh, I was hoping he might be, like, 47. That, this is the Leo, because I don't know, but I'm, I reckon he's the other side of 50, but I'm not convinced. He looks it, doesn't he? He looks it, but um, you never well, know. let's all think. He scored that goal where it was the volley, and that was in 2000 and, I believe, two. So that's 20 years ago. So let's just think, 
could he possibly have been 28 when he did it? I think he could. He's got to be older than 48 for me to survive this. And now that we're talking about it, I don't like it loads. <laughs> I've done the work. Well, let's have it. He's the same age as Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oh. One hundred. Know, this is, that's got to be pretty tight. <laughs> He's younger. Oh, no. Than Cristiano Ronaldo. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. He's older, so <laughs> he speaks five languages. Neymar oh. can speak. A, no, can Neymar, speak jockey. A, Neymar, Neymar jockeys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, Neymar, another. <laughs> Neymar can speak a bit of English. <laughs> well, what what are you reading? Neymar has one jockey. child. I don't know whether you should be looking at Neymar stuff at the moment, Tim. <laughs> Zinedine Zidane is bald. Yes. yes, but you can be bald at any age. Zidane is 49. Whoa! <laughs> that was very exciting doing oh, a film. That was a lot of fun. A lot of that fun. was very fucking risky by me, and I, I don't think I should have cut it that fine, because I, I was staring at the barrel there. Well, I thought that was a lovely, lovely day. And yeah. Oh. And yeah. You're right. Enya. You're right. Can you hear me? Enya. You're right. I can't tell if you can hear me. Enya. <laughs> can I go for Enya? Why is he doing that face? Why are you doing that face? I don't know, but it, have you got a, a name yet? Or? I wanted to go for Enya. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Well, there could be. We'll see. Well, it sounds like there might be because he's doing that face. What's he doing? I don't know. The thing is with Key. Well, I won't go for Enya. So that's the other way of doing it. What's wrong with Enya? Quite a nerve-wracking game. Old. Uh, by the way, this, this this face that you've been doing is the first time we've had this face. I think, yeah. <laughs> no, in the entire history of the game. <laughs> is Peter Jackson the director? Yeah, he directed the old um, ba 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 very long ba 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 people small. Well, maybe I'll go for Peter Jackson then. No more people. He's probably got a beard. Uh, probably got a beard right now. Ah, okay. interesting. So a, a, a current as possible picture shows them with a beard. Yeah. Or oh, we all agree they've probably got a beard right now. Do, 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 do I? Buckinghamshire Broadband, but I think you were saying, do, 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 do I have a beard? Okay, I think I'm going to challenge. I think there could be a city called Jackson somewhere in America. Oh, that's good. Like because America, American place names are often weird stuff. Like like you know. You know what? I didn't. I, that didn't cross my mind at all. But what we could have is a difficulty where we don't know if it's a city or a town, and, and because you sang the category and and it was weird. Uh, afraid. I think if you look up Jackson on Wikipedia, it'll say city. Yeah. Oh, so there you go. Look, I think you challenge well. You challenge quickly. You challenge forcefully. I'm not walking. Ah. <laughs> The game carries on. My turn. Fair enough. I yeah, yeah, no, again. As it, within your rights. Within your rights. I have to pick a different person now instead of Peter Jackson. <laughs> I think you might be unpopular with the Willow Warblers. If no, that's a well played. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Now take care. Drive home safely. Off it can comes. You finish, can you finish with your gag stuff? Oh yeah. Well, I'm just going to end with uh, one quick gag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex, for the ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Is my colour all gone weird now? The game is afoot. It's Key versus Watson. If Key wins, two's all if, if If Key wins, then, then the whole set is, is levelled. Yep. Well, it has to be. You, you, what you're good at is framing up. Oh, yeah. I also keep trying to clean my screen because I think there's a bit of dirt in your, where your mirror is, but it's something in your mirror. Yes, I, I can see that as well. I think it's a sort of a tear or a bit of sweat or something on my screen. But yeah, yeah I, I keep wiping it. I keep trying to wipe that as well. <laughs> Especially because well, people can complain that my, that my uh, webcam isn't clear enough. Let's get that take it out. No. No, it's better, actually. I should keep doing that, really. I wish I wasn't sepia. I like it. I tell you who we haven't really had, and that's Moriarty. We've never had Moriarty, I don't think. Well, can I? I'll put my sock on, and you say Moriarty. Well, I'm going to go into a different realm, actually, and it's this sort of area. Uh oh, oh, sex doctors, sex Snoop doctors, Snoop. sex Snoop. doctors. I, I, I'm going for 
Jack Lazowski. That's a, yeah, of course it was. I knew that. <laughs> I don't think he's ever been successfully challenged. I could be wrong. I just remember lots of times trying to get the better of him. Now, some I think I'd like to write a sitcom. You'd like and to write a sitcom? A bit What's in the sitcom where I put a pipette in the bin and I say, I'll feed his own pipette. Is that a whole oh. sitcom or is it more just a sort of... Uh... It sounds to me like you've got a hit sitcom on your hands. If you look in your hands, you'll see, oops, covered in hit sitcom. Well, uh, I hope so, but I've been, I need to put some other stuff in, like characters and, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's a place pretty solid start. Put some place names in your sitcom. Yep, yep, yep. London, I might say it in London. Maybe there's a pet, you know, a funny animal doing something. Well, well maybe the pet is a dog. Maybe someone could cheat at a game. They had a dog oh. in Frasier and it didn't exactly hurt. Maybe there's a guy called Malk. Anyway, in about episode four, maybe, of the first series, mm -hmm. someone can put a pipette in a bin. And, and say. say I, in fact, I don't think they need to say anything, really. No. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it reads without the joke. It's better. Yeah, because the audience will say it in their heads, won't they? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Jack Lazowski, no more people who, Sorry. when you... Stop. Think. Sorry, stop and think. Stop and think. There's been footage or photos of them wearing the same trousers more than 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> there are people... <laughs> You can prove that they've worn the same dresses 41 plus times. Pictures and footage to prove it, I think he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to you doing the work on this one. <laughs> we can always just tweet in that usually works. <laughs> how many, right, how many snooker up trousers have you got? They're not called snooker up trousers, are they? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have a challenge. Yeah, oh, yeah great, go on. I mean, we're not exactly going to resolve this quickly. I, but I think I know where you're going, and I think... Uh, well, I think John Lennon done. is one of the 50 famousest people. <laughs> Key, could you name 50 people more famous than John Lennon? And we're going to go through them one by one. Well, look, I think first and foremost, you have to take out some people who are in his business, who are ahead of him. There aren't loads of those. Well, Elvis is ahead of him. I have got a list of the 200 most famous people of all time. Have you? That, that's the list. Um, Lennon is there on those pictures. He's in the graphic, which I don't mind. But I don't, but, I, I don't know if it's got... It's in order. It's in order with JC at number one and AH at number two. You say what you like about Hitler, but he did put himself on the map, didn't he? So shall I do this work and then you can still argue about it? I, no, I just, no, no, no. I think, you, I think you just read them out and I'll go by this list. I, I think... We, yeah, yeah, I think this is the only way because the alternative is he has to convince me that 49 people are more famous one by one. We've got Jesus Christ at number one. Adolf Hitler... Uh, yeah. look, funny who we haven't had in the game before. I don't think we've had Marilyn Monroe. By the way, Horn, what is the source? Who, who collated this? I won't argue with it either way. Nor, nor List either. challenges. 200 most famous people of all times. Listchallenges.com. Jesus Christ. Hitler. Monroe. Trump. Trump at four. Mao at five. Mao. We've had him Einstein. Before. Einstein! Einstein! <laughs> Cleopatra. So you couldn't have had Cher. No, I, I was well, going to challenge Cher on Cleopatra. But I, I was going to, I was going to uh, say she must have an actual surname, but it would have been dicey. Yeah, Jackson, Michael, ah, Chaplin, Charlie, Lincoln, Abraham. That's ten. That's ten famos. We have got Julius Caesar. We have got Joan of Arc at twelve. Thirteen is John Lennon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was disappointed to see him. He's just game know. over. He's I just think that is game over. over. He's just above Mother Teresa and John F. Kennedy and Gandhi. Number 50 is Claude Monet, just above Ellen DeGeneres at number 49. Well, well played, Watto. You, you've taken the lead again. What's I, the score? Both of you out. I had to take both of you out to win it. It was a very competitive game, that. The score is now 3-2-1, I think, in my favour. Yeah, or 1-2-3. Also in my favour, yeah. Or 2-1-3. In my favour, yeah. Or two three one, in in my favour. Or one three two, and that would be in my favour. Or three one two, in my favour. Or two two three, but, but it isn't that. Right. Okay. 
Uh, can we what? just do that, that, that face again, Tim, that you did? That, it, yeah. I don't think it was What's that. The... Yeah, that one. A bit more smiley. More smiley. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah, right. That's, that's it. It just doesn't look like Key. I, I, can't, I can't deal with it. <laughs> We've said it before, but Key is the person out of the three of us that can look the most like other people or just not himself or not anyone. Like a blobfish, a little bit. <laughs> All right, good game.